Ali's son, uh, his son just passed away. And through his grieving, this is the opposite. This is actually humanity in action. He's taking his own actual, real, serious, couldn't imagine anything sort of worse, sort of personal tragedy and using it as a call um, for humani humanity at the border and in policy. This is uh, Tony Reale on ESPN. Andrew Gutierrez, take the face time. Aha. I'm still feeling the Father's Day vibe, so I gladly cede my time to you, Mr. Tony Reale. Yeah, nice. Thank you, Israel. Um, the notes and the condolences my wife Sammy and I have received have gone right into our soul, and I wanted to say that. Talking about the duality of losing a child near childbirth and then delivering another healthy one is impossible. I was talking about this yesterday on Twitter. How can you ever be whole again? Parents have had to go through this before. I'm going through this now. And I spent time, you know, pledging that it's not, it's okay not to be okay. And for me, the recognition that I've come to is that life can be out of our control. And, and that's okay. It's how we respond and what we do. That's what we have control of. So here's where I am today. Grief is part of humanity. Grief is proof of humanity. Parents dealing with loss or anybody dealing with loss, meet yourself where you are. Give voice to your feelings. Young men, young women watching, this can be how you grieve. Don't bury your heart. Keep it on the outside. And look to other people because humanity can lift us. That has been my experience. But I need to say this now. More duality. If I'm brutally honest, today my thoughts are with children in cages. That's parents experiencing loss too. Humanity needs to be better. Amadeo, I love you forever. You're named for God's love. May we all be craving it. May we all be giving it to each other. And may we all be compassionate enough to give it to all. Do you want to be like that or those fucking slobs at the diner? <laughs>